first thing we're going to do is we're going to get this ready to lift the car up. I'm going to tighten the pin. I'm just going to go in here and make sure that's tight so that it will actually lift when I put it in here. Now, now it's working. So now I'm going to go under the car. I'm going to find the edge of the frame here. And now it's going to lift the car. So you lift it up just enough that you take the weight off the tire, but it's still on the ground. And now I'm going to, where am I? Here I am. Now I'm going to loosen the nuts. I might need to stand on this, but I didn't mean to stand on that one. We're going to finish raising the car up now, now that we've broken the seal on all the nuts. we we'll lift the tire so it's off the ground, officially. There we go. And we're going to use a drill to release the bolts. If you don't have a drill, you can just do it by hand the old-fashioned way. There you go. Yeah, so if you get a little kickback there, a little yeah. resistance, it's going to wrench your, wrench your arm. So you hold on tight to the drill, just in case. It's a little snugger than you thought. We'll take the tire off, if it wants to let go. If not, you might have to lick it. It doesn't want to go. By kicking it. It's not kicking very Okay, so it doesn't want to let go. So... I'm just going to put one of the bolts back on so it doesn't come flying off. And I'm just going to kick it with this. See? It jiggled a little bit. Should be able to come off now. Maybe. Yeah. You wrestle with it. Tire wrestling 101. Okay, so before we put the tire on, the winter tire, I'm going to point out on our tire somewhere along here, we have a marking that says rotation. So I'll get that in the light a little bit so you can see it. Yeah. And it's pointing this way. There's an arrow, like a, a triangle arrow pointing that way. That is important. That's the way we're going to put the tire on. We don't want to accidentally put this on the other side of the car so it's facing the wrong way. Uh, the winter tires are developed and designed to grab the road better in one way so that's what we they give us that direction and that's what we're going to do so um the tire is pretty heavy i'm not a super strong person but i can do this you're going to sit on the floor on my butt and i'm going to look through the holes in the rim here and line up my studs with the holes i got five of them there now, I'm sitting like this, I can use my legs to help lift both hands underneath the tire and I can line it up like this. It's going to take a little wiggling and a little maneuvering of me and the tire, but we'll get it on there. You get one on. Don't give up. You got this. 
Now, I'm gonna take all the nuts, put them on before the tire decides to wiggle itself off or twist. Just get them started by hand. And the tire's not going anywhere. Right. So now that I've got them all just kind of started there, it's important when you tighten these to go not in a row. It can bend the rim. So it's smarter just to go here and then cross and then go here and then here and then here and keep going back and forth a little bit at a time until they're nice and snug. I'm going to use this to do that. And I'm just going to tighten it a little bit, cross over, tighten a little bit, cross back to another one, tighten, oh, what's going on here? That one's pretty loose, I guess. Go around a couple times till I get it. That's why you weave. One was not as tight as I thought it was. The tire moved, and that's why I was going for it. Drilling them all on. Okay, now a little bit harder. Cross over. A little harder. I'm going to go over one more time here. It is smarter to set your wrench so that you're pushing down. So, it's on there. Nice and tight. It's a good idea to check it in about 20 kilometers. Just make sure that nothing's jiggled itself loose, that they're actually all snug and tight. We're done. Bring on the winter. Oh, we're not done. Can't drive away. Lift it off the ground like this. So now, we pull this out, put it back at the bottom here, and <laughs> loosen it. And I should have said stand back a little bit, make sure that don't have your foot under there. Okay, now we can bring on the winter.